in this video we will be creating the index page politics page sports page and the business page in each of these pages we will be querying our backend cms and depending on what page it is we will be querying the specific type of news for example in the index.js that is the home page we will be querying all the articles for that what we need to do is type in const and we will be importing the trending and then basically we will be using the same thing twice and instead of const we will be using trending and then await client.query prismic predicates dot add and documents dot type the type would be trending and then you will return the prop and the prop would be articles and trending now you don't have to write the same thing twice but i just like to write it this way you could have written props and then articles and trending so let me just show you what these type of custom types look in our cms backend so if you go to prismic.io and the dashboard for example if we see a type of article and we click on it so it has an article uid and then a title a date time a preview info a full article and this is the part of the article and then we have a feature image so this is how an article looks and a trending trending type of custom type looks like this it has a uid a headline and an info that's it since we are returning articles and trendings from the get server side prop we can destructure it at home we will destructure it like uh let's do this articles and trending all right so in the layout we will be writing it differently but and to render the rich text we will need import rich text from prismic react chairs other than this we will also need the links so type in link from next link we haven't to use the rich text and link but we will be using them soon inside the layout what we are going to do is type h1 and we'll type c what's happening around the world and then we will have class name and this would be text to excel and uppercase font bold opacity we will keep the opacity to 50 and it will have a margin vertical of 10 and margin left of 24 so if we refresh if we save and see this so yeah we got this thing now uh, after the h1 we will have a div and this div will be this div will have a display of flex now we will have uh, the default direction is row so on the left side of the site we will have the main articles and on the right side we will have the trending articles so we will have two divs so the first div itself would be flex but the direction the direction would be flex column and it will take total two-third width of the available website width and it will have a left mar left margin of 24 and it will have a margin right of 20 and inside that we will have main articles and then we will have another div that will also have a flex uh, that will have a display of flex and the direction would be flex column but the width would be one-third and it won't have a margin left of 24 so instead we don't need any margin here and this will be trending articles so if you refresh if you save it and you see here we have main articles that is taking the two-third of the space and the trending article that's taking one-third of the space let's write inside it what we want to do is write some javascript so uh, we have already destructured the trending and the article thing and for that 
now we will map through all the articles that we have imported here so what you need to do is type in article and the article has a object called results because articles is returned as a json object and then it has results and results is an array so we will map over it and to map over it we have an arrow function and then we can return anything but inside the arrow function we have two things available to us that is the article that we are mapping over and an index so when we map over the array each item will be referred as article and its index would be referred by the index we can use the parenthesis and inside it we will type h1 now inside the h1 we will be rendering the h1 the title of the article for this we will use the rich text dot render and then we will render it that is the article the item that we have got and it has a data and this has the title this is the structure that we have defined inside our custom type and then it will also have some classes so type in it will be bold it will have a text 3xl size and it will have a text of blue 600 i guess should be fine and then it will have a cursor pointer okay but this will also act as a link so we will type in link and this will have a href and as you have said as you can see we have imported this link already from the next and now it will have a href but the href itself will be but the href itself would be custom and for that we will use string template and so write the string template as article slash dollar and curly braces and then you can write in article dot uid all right so now that we have written the title and which also acts as a link and the href is article dot uid so this will be redirected to website.com slash article slash whatever the uid slug is after this we will have an image and the source of course will be your string template so let's do this let's write some javascript and this would be article dot data dot feature underscore image dot url okay and this will also have some class name so type in width two third so this will take the two third of the available width of this parent container and then in the alt we can write an image and after the feature image has been done we will have another h1 and this will be similar to it but this will be a short description so inside this it will be short it will be preview info but we will have to use preview dash info now we could use we could have used the dot operator but we are using square brackets because we have preview dot info preview dash info and this dash would be considered a minus if we had used a dot operator so we will be using square brackets now if you save it it should work but no uh, we also need to wrap it around so wrap it around a single div so hopefully it should work now and let's see so we can see that now we are fetching all the articles yes we are fetching all the articles here and each of this acts as a link but we will not click it because we haven't yet de decided but we will not click it because we haven't yet implemented the custom article dynamic links so now that it is working we will also type we will also create the trending articles and after that we will be writing some javascript and then we will using the trending and then it will have results and the result is an array so we will map over it and inside the map we have a arrow function and inside the function we will be returning the jsx so this would be a this would be our div 
but before that we have to take in the element that we are mapping over so this would be article in itself and we have also index also one thing uh, here we have the article but we have to use a key so for that we will use a unique key the key would be article dot uid so this is unique for each article and react needs all when we are mapping over an array all react childs need to have a unique key so we will also be using it here too so yeah so we have article uid here and now and now we can also have a link here and inside the link we will have uh, the href which will be which will be string template so that would be trending slash um, dollar sign and curly braces and then we will have article dot uid so this is how the href is and inside that we will have a h1 and the h1 will use rich text dot render function and we will tap type pass in article dot data dot headline this is the structure that we have defined and then it will have some classes here it will be bold text excel and text blue 600 and cursor pointer and yes so after that we can have um a hr for you know differentiating between different items and we can have a class name that would be for margin top of five so let's see if this is working so yeah it's working and all right so we have the index page ready so we will create now next we will create other pages like politics okay um yeah politics so we inside on this page we will only fetch the articles that are tagged with politics so to understand how tags work you will have to go to an article for example we are inside this article and once you have created a, a article you can add tags so to tag this document you can click here and then you can create a tag for example um global and then you can write a tag and now there is some change pending but we don't want to add this tag and we already have a tag politics that i have added earlier and i will discard my changes so this has a tag of politics and this news article has a tag of sports and this news article has a tag of business we can query the data according to the tags for this we will go to the politics page and now this is going to be um, similar to what we are having in the index but only the querying thing will, dif will differ and for that let me just copy it because I have already done that and it is similar to here but the title is changed from polit uh, in the head this will generate 21 politics see what's going around in the world of politics and then uh, we have some changes in the query as you can see uh, inside the here we have articles which are documents dot tag the tag is of politics and in the trending we have all the articles that are trending because trending articles are well uh, only three so we are we are fetching them all we haven't tagged the trending articles and so the trending articles is going to be common because we are not tagging them right now we are only tagging the main articles so here in the articles we are fetching all the articles that are tagged with politics and we are fetching all the trending trending ones and then we are returning them here and then we are destructuring at here home and then we are mapping over the articles here so articles dot result dot map and similarly we are mapping it over here that is trending dot result dot map and if you have any problem you can see the source code that will be uploaded on github and i'll link them in the description but this is going to be more or less the same in the business thing and then we can have the same thing in the politics so just copy it and we'll paste it we will change a few things uh yeah let's change this politics and oh sorry business 
let's save this and politics and change okay this is already politics in the business we will change the tag to business so let's see if this works okay so we were getting some error because of um, this misspelling that we have here so change it to prismic configuration and now it should work so we have prismic configuration and yes so hopefully it should have changed here mm, yeah configuration and inside the business so we already have configuration politics configuration and the sports let's copy this thing copy and then we will paste it here and um, in the tags we will have sports so let's see if this works and this will have this will be sports and the politics we have politics in the business let's do business so let's see if this works and hopefully it should work so we got the news of politics let's change it to business and see if the business uh, article appears okay. and yeah so business article is coming and let's check for the sports sports section is also working as you can see the trending part is the same because we haven't tagged those and i just wanted to keep them same across all the different parts of the website and so all of these sections are now working but what we want now is that when we click on each link it should redirect to an article its own page of the article and for that we will need to have dynamic routing in next years so we will be dealing with dynamic routing in next years in the next video